My name is Devin Townsend, and you are watching Pure Grain Audio. Two old ladies looking at each other, and they are regretful. One of them has wings, and the other one has damage to her back. They're both shittering, shitting out their ovaries, and uh, they were mad at each other, but they're no longer. I think that is a metaphor for aging. It's the ovary thing, both of them. They're sisters. Yeah, that's the beetle from Naked Lunch. That's my latent homosexuality streaming forth. Except at the bottom there, there's eyes. It's a native thing as well, except there's no symmetry to it. That's the problem with that. So the right side, okay, that's, that's the left brain, right brain going. And what it actually ends up being is it's an articulation of homosexual desires. Right there. Plain as balls on a tall dog. Next. That is a personification of the first person perspective. You might want to call it God, but that's not it because it's actually the person himself. And he's standing there, but it's a moth. And that's the guy in the middle, but he's sort of embracing. But at the same time, the moth represents, you know, it's a struggle and like such a fascination with the eternal and with light that you'll destroy yourself to get to it. So maybe that's the thought is it's the vagina, it's the yoni, and it actually is a personification of God and God as a vagina. That's awesome. What would be the name of that religion? Yoniism? No, wait, that'd be like the musician, Yanni, live at the Acropolis. That would be a ladybug, but dead, like crushed. But it's also got a computer chip in its back. So maybe that's representative of how technology is like squashing nature. But it looks symbiotic in a weird way as well because the antenna are, are in symmetry. Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe that's the water drought. That's the drought. That's water shortage. Ooh, uh, evil frog. Penne arabiata, arabiata, arabiata. Spicy penne. <laughs> it's a funny guy. Big nose, weird hair. Okay, that is the phoenix standing on a hill far in the distance with two um, sort of strange Pokemon reaching left and right. And the guy in the middle there, that would be the symbol for whatever band that would be. It's a shitty metal cover. They're probably like a something of something band. You know what I mean? You're like, uh, hair of, that's four though, right? Hair. Maybe of the is one. Hair of the dog. Hair of dog, that's it. Um, Kidneys and lungs being prepped for a pie. Prepped for a pie. The second record by Hair of Dog. <laughs> Two happy geishas. Side by side. Yeah. They're, they're sad though because their, their strong femininity has been objectified by a patriarchal society that forces them to like lie down while fucking assholes eat sushi off of them.